Okay. Were you connected in any way with the decision to ban singing at the liquor stores? No. Oh, okay. You've heard about it though, right? No, I haven't. ShireSociety.com Are the flags ever not at half staff at the State House in Concord? Well, I'm here to do some ambush interviews. I've got a lot of questions for a lot of people. Depends on whether I run. Are you on the Liquor Commission, sir? No. Oh, okay. Are you here overseeing the Liquor Commission? I'm more than I'm, I'm just on the committee as, on the a, committee. as an alternate. Are you familiar with this case where they've been banning people from singing in the liquor stores? No. There's some activists in Keene that protested the, the state-run liquor stores uh, by singing inside one of, the, one of the stores, and so they've all been given a ban, so they're not allowed to even go in there and buy liquor anymore. Do you have any concerns about this kind of thing? Or? I don't know enough about it. This 30 seconds you've told me, i exactly. not, not prepared really, to make a decision. Yeah, when no one expects you to know everything. $200 a year, right? <laughs> no, $100 a year. Oh, that's right, 100 yeah. Okay. 200 for a turn. <laughs> okay, thanks so much. <laughs> Are you with the Are you with the liquor commission? Liquor commission, sir? No. Oh, okay. Thanks. Are you on the committee that oversees the liquor commission? Yeah, I'm going in there. Yeah. Oh, I've got a question for you. Uh, you hear, heard about this free speech case where the liquor commission has banned people from singing in their stores? Have I heard about? Say it again. It's a free speech case where they've banned the liquor commission has I banned heard people. Haven't about from, it. Okay. I, some keen activists went and sang in a liquor store to protest the hypocrisy about marijuana and alcohol. And uh, as a result, they've been given bans on even going into these stores and buying liquor. Uh, do you think people should be banned from singing? Should they be punished for singing in the liquor stores? Uh, that's a good question. I don't really know the details, so it's hard to form a judgment on it. But uh, my instinct says, uh, you know, I should learn more about it before I... Uh, it doesn't sound right, but... I'm sure the devil's in the details, right? Yeah, we'll give it a Google. I think if you Google the word Shire Choir Liquor, you'll Shire, find Shire. Uh, Shire Choir Liquor will get you there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what was the, uh, what was the intent of the, uh, of the protest? They were protesting what they consider the hypocrisy because you, the state sells liquor, which is very right. dangerous, but it puts people in jail for smoking marijuana, which is less dangerous. Makes right. sense? Right, yeah. Hmm. That was their case. Interesting. So they got me talking about it. Yeah, yeah. And who are you? <laughs> it's Dave Ridley with ReallyReport.com. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I've seen some oh, stuff. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. We're usually on the opposite side of things, but yeah. I've seen some stuff. You're talking yeah. to me. That's a start. Yeah. Well, I talk to anybody who will have appreciate a conversation. That. Yeah. And what's your name? Uh, Joe Cicerelli. You're going to need it. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Cicerelli. I appreciate Cicerelli, it. Cicerelli, yeah. Cicerelli, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Are you on the Liquor Commission, sir? Am I? Are you here for the Liquor Commission? Yeah, I'm a uh, legislator. You're one of the yeah. one of the reps. Uh, have you heard about this free speech case where the Liquor Commission has essentially banned people from singing in the liquor stores? No. There were some activists in Keene who went to protest inside a liquor store. They sang in protest of the what they call the hypocrisy of yeah. drug laws. You know, no drug laws against alcohol, but right. if you get put in jail for marijuana, which yeah. is less dangerous, right? That was their point they were trying to make. They've all been banned from going into a liquor store even to buy liquor. I had not heard that. Do you have, do you think that people should be banned for singing? No. no. All right. No. I get, I'm getting sing. some straight answers today. Even, even if they sing off key. <laughs> All right, thanks much. What's your name? Randy Foos. Okay, Mr. Foos, thank you. Are you on the Liquor Commission, sir? Nope. Are you here to represent them in any way? Nope. Are you on the committee? Nope. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Ms. Sad, do you have a second? Sure. You were telling me you were the, um, I think you're the only person who's actually heard of this case, you know, that I was talking about over here with the, uh -huh. with the free speech and the uh, uh, singing. Yes, yes, um, yes, I had heard about it. Do you have any concerns about the ban on these folks going to the liquor commission or? I don't, I think that communication is something that both sides should take into consideration. I don't think that... It is a part of free speech. Um, whether it is impeding the normal business activities of the store itself, customers are getting upset because of it and, and causing the State Liquor Commission to lose money, that is a concern of the state. But I think that some kind of communication should be opened between the protesters and the agency. My understanding is that communication came in the form of just 
a piece of paper, like a restraint, almost like a restraining order, mm -hmm, you know, like you've mm -hmm. been served, end of story. And I think it may have even been a lifetime ban on entering the stores to buy liquor. Is that, an, uh, would, I don't would even that want to go there. Would that I, be excessive? I or? don't, I have no idea. I'm not a lawyer and I don't profess to even know what the rules and regulations are with the law, but um, just on the facts that you gave me about what was going on, it seemed completely innocent, what? but you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't there. So. Yeah, true. Well, I think if you Google Shire Choir, you'll, you'll oh, probably Shire find Choir? it. Okay, yeah, I will, so. I will, I will. All yeah. right, Thank thanks you for so your much. time. Yes. Are you representing the Liquor Commission in some way? Yes. Um, were you connected in any way with the uh, decision to... Um, uh, stand away from the door. Oh, okay, that sounds good. Were you connected in any way with the decision to ban singing at the liquor stores? No. Oh, okay. You've heard about it though, right? No, I haven't. Oh, okay, well, that's good. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at Shire Society dot com